Today I will cover how to boost your FPS and also get less input delay. All steps are important so watch until the end for the best results. For the first one go into your settings. Then make sure to use full screen with native res 1920 by 1080 unless you're using a stretch resolution. Then for V-Sync off and cap your FPS at your monitor hertz or one above. For rendering mode, performance will always be the best option. Graphics is personal preference, but feel free to copy mine if you want to. Lastly, make sure all graphics quality settings is at the lowest possible, since that make your device provide more FPS. With this app you can download the latest driver and the link is in my bio. Launch it and then you want to go to drivers and click on check for updates. Wait for it to load and then they will tell you if there is any updates available. With me I can download here if I click express installation then I will just have to wait for it to download. After it's done you will have the latest driver. Keep in mind while having GeForce Experience downloaded you can click alt set and get a really good recording software that can both do instant replay automatic in the background while playing and record. Comment if I should make a full tutorial on this. Then go into your NVIDIA control panel and go to manage 3D settings. For this you want to right click, show more options and click NVIDIA control panel. Then go to manage 3D settings and copy all of my settings. Rewatch or pause the video so that you can see all my settings and copy them. Click the windows button again and search for about your PC. Then click enter. Go to advanced system settings and click on settings under advanced. Then make sure you are using adjust for best performance. This will make your PC give you the best performance while gaming. Apply. Go to your settings, scroll down and find windows update and make sure you have the latest version. If there's a long time since you have checked, click on check for updates and see if there is any updates available. Then for this next setting we want to turn off hardware acceleration. This you can do inside your apps. I will choose Discord and Spotify for this video. Go into settings and go to advanced and turn off this one. This will use your GPU and click OK. It will relaunch and then you've done it correctly. Then go back into Spotify, click your, on your profile and go to settings. And then scroll all the way down until you find compatibility. Enable hardware acceleration and turn this one off too. This will help your GPU massively. But hold on, you also need to turn it off from your Chrome. Let's say you're watching YouTube while playing, then it's important to turn it off from Chrome too. Go into your settings, search hardware acceleration and turn this one off. Relaunch. And there you go. Click Control Shift Escape. Then the task manager should pop up and you can go to your startup apps and make sure you disable all the apps that you're not using when you start up your PC. This is highly recommended. After doing that you can go down to your windows button and search for notifications. Click enter and all your notifications should pop up and make sure to turn off the useless things. Or if you don't want any notifications to run in the background, you can just turn them completely off. Go to the Windows button again and search for Disk Cleanup. Enter. Wait for it to load. Here you have uh, unnecessary files. So what you want to do is just mark all of these. Every single one of them and click OK. And then delete files. This is just unnecessary files and your PC will now delete them for you. So anyways from there go into your files, then click on this PC, go to your local disk and right click and go to properties. Then what I want you to do is go to tools and click check. This will error check your whole PC. If there is any errors they will fix it and make it better for you. Just click check. Scan drive.
So guys, I just entered this map and I'm at 240 stable after following all the tips. Let's try building. Still feels good. I can't feel any delay and the FPS is so good. So let's put it to 360 before we try unlimited. Still no issues. Feels so good. Let's try building. Now we go right to unlimited. Let's see. Can we get 400, 500? Let's look up in the sky. 400, 500. There we go. 500 FPS. Guys, make sure to click the video on the screen now if you want even more tricks about how to improve your FPS. And I'll see you in the next one.